Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's summarize the images we get with a convex mirror. Notice that as we place the object very far away, out towards infinity, in front of the mirror, we'll get an image forming really, really close to the focal point behind the lens. You can see that no matter where we place the object, the image will always form somewhere behind the mirror, therefore we will always get a virtual image. Notice that in every case we get an upright image and also in every case the image size will be smaller than the object size. Now what happens when we place the object closer and closer and closer and closer to the mirror then we can see that the image will form closer and closer and closer and closer to the mirror as well. Why is that? Well notice that regardless of where you place the object the first ray will always be drawn from the top of the object towards the mirror, parallel to the optical axis. They will always hit the mirror at the very same point, very same distance away from the optical axis. Then the reflection of that ray will always be in the same direction as if it came from the focal point behind the mirror. Notice then that the image will always form in such a way that the top of the image will form along that line between the focal point and where the first ray hits the mirror. The second ray is always drawn from the top of the object to the focal point, but before the ray gets to the focal point, the rays will then get reflected back away from the mirror, parallel to the optical axis, like so. And that means that the observer on this side of the mirror will see these rays coming from the mirror, and they appear to be coming from behind the mirror, where these lines intersect with the line from the focal point here to the point where the first ray hits the mirror, that's where the image will form, wherever those two lines meet right here. So you can see that here's the first image where the two lines meet, there's the second image, there's the third, the fourth, the fifth, and so forth. Again, the farther away from the mirror the object is, the closer the focal point the image will form, the closer the object will come to the mirror, the closer the image will come to the mirror on the back side of the mirror. And that gives you a very good idea of how the images are formed using convex mirrors.